Today we're going to talk about one of the most essential tools we have here in our tool set at Siege. Siege is a 100 plus person content marketing agency with an SEO focus. We only use a few core tools in our tool set and ClearScope is one of them. So that's why today we wanted to show you a review and do a full review of ClearScope, uh, giving us a tool that we recommend so much and think so highly of. If you like this video, we have other content just like it, tools reviews, content strategy in the SEO world, how to increase your website traffic, all the backbone of trying to move faster and rank quickly. So make sure you jam that notification bell, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content just like this. So what is ClearScope? Essentially, it's a content optimization tool. They also recently added some new features that I think are worth running through that are especially making me pay attention and want to roll this out more frequently across our clients and anyone who's taking content seriously as they move forward. Essentially, what they are most known for is their keyword discovery uh, reports. Essentially, what these reports do is they will allow you to and give you a scale or uh, a grade for your piece of content. So if I put in something like content marketing services into this report and generate a report, it will give me terms that I should include or they recommend we include based on the frequency they occur on higher ranking posts. So the idea here is by matching that user experience either directly or indirectly, making it clear to Google and users you're a good result for that topic. So ironically, we do this for content marketing services and we're only a C minus. I just dropped in and copied in all of our kind of header text. And you can see we're missing topics like social media, content marketing strategy, infographics in our framework, email marketing. We are an SEO firm, so that's one of the things we don't make a lot of sense to include that. Some brands, it won't make sense to do, but it's a great hint. And this is why this can be a valuable tool, especially if you're the kind of company that prefers to have the SEO knowledge yourself and then hand it to freelance writers who will never have that knowledge. Giving them these briefs is helpful for understanding and including the core terms that are important for the topic that they would probably not otherwise be able to catch up on. One of the ways I most like this tool is in technical industries. This is gonna be more likely in these areas to miss on uh, certain briefs or areas of the topic that will, might prevent you from ranking. Because if you're, you're not deeply embedded in that area, you'll be less likely to catch some of those common frameworks just through basic research. It can be extra useful for under, understanding the business inside and out. One kind of like cautionary tale about this tool, I would say, and maybe where it's a little less relevant, I do think in many like simpler B2C industries, if you really know how to understand a search result, it might not be as relevant or value adding to you. What I might suggest, especially as they've evolved to more of a content optimization tool, to kind of understand the value add ClearScope might have is to go through your current content and see how it grades against where the tool is. And you see a lot of stuff in C minus, you might not want to, or you might actually see a lot of value from this tool. Comparatively, if you run all your content through this and you see A pluses for the most part, you might not see as much value from it. That said, we're all gonna run into topics that we most likely will see have ranking issues over time. This is a good kind of check for that too. Like if you were tr trying to problem solve why your content is stuck, a great playbook is to run it through ClearScope to understand that further. So this is a great process for kind of taking your current inventory, improving it, also gut checking where you are. If you're also running this program through someone else and you wanna know how they're doing, this tool can be a great way to do that. Note though, that sometimes you actually like sort of try to rank for things, but don't care. That's actually sort of what's happening in our case. We wouldn't mind ranking for content marketing services, but we're not gonna start saying we do social media when we don't. So it's always a, a catch 22 that you wanna consider with tools like this. What I like overall about this tool is it's reasonably priced. Like there's other like enterprise versions of this tool and I, I believe ClearScope wants to be enterprise and is aspirational enterprise, which I think they will be eventually, but it's reasonably priced, all things considered. But I like the, the UX and the UI. It's clean, it's easy to understand, it's easy to hand off. They have features where you essentially can share the brief with a freelancer or writer on your team without giving them a login. That's powerful for kind of like running this accordingly for your content. So that's a great way of using this tool overall. They also note things like 
average word count, which is useful for understanding scope. So if you did a keyword opposition to benefit analysis, which we often recommend on these, these videos, you could use their word count tool to essentially scope things uh, appropriately. Because if you only did 1,000 words when it's typically 3,000, which is the case with our topic here, content marketing services, that's not the best and you might not rank well overall. They also have great integrations with WordPress and uh, Google Docs just to make this easier when you're composing content and not just to have to do it through their, their Compose tool, even though I do like the UX and I think it's clean overall and worth using. So the new feature that uh, they recently let me know about, and just to be clear, there's no financial incentive in doing this review for us, essentially is their content inventory. What's exciting about this tool is essentially it takes their grades and allows you to input your content and sort of monitor that over time by plugging into Search Console. So what it's doing here is essentially monitoring the click volume over time to understand when things might be deprecating to essentially be able to prioritize that appropriately. So if you see declines happening and also essentially your specific search result evolving, which is one of uh, their bets, is that many topics, and I agree with, they evolve over time. Because if you're doing something like crypto, you might be evolving from what is crypto to is it a scam, et cetera. That changes many industries that are fast moving and the topic and SERP will change with it, which means your content can quickly become outdated and rank poorly. Their tool will essentially monitor that through Search Console and if you check in on this report over time, you can get a sense for how that is doing. It'll also give you an up-to-date view on how your, your report, your previous grade, is evolving over time with that click path. So if you essentially also weight it by how many clicks on your site there are, you can get a very quick high impact view to be able to sort by the number of clicks and be able to, to see that impact over time for your business and make sure you're monitoring when things are evolving or downtrending. You could look at clicks first, you could look at your grade declining, all of those could be relevant, but this will allow you to basically move on decay faster which is powerful overall. One of the unlocks I had with this tool was previously sort of thought of it as a net new thing, like you create new content, you run it through it just to verify, but I like how it's evolving, positioning is evolving, or at least as I understand it, is to more of an optimization tool where you can take your current inventory, you can essentially QA check it. It doesn't have to be for new content. You don't have to use the kind of word composer. I think it's good. One of my things that I'm always nervous about in using these kind of tools is that we write robotically. What I would suggest instead is write the content, then QA check it with the tool as compared to just looking at the tool as you write. I think you become more of a robot and less creative in doing that. So kind of like QA check your content when it's live for a while. They also have credit plan. If you have a lot of content, you might just wanna run a few reports periodically for content that's not ranking to further think of how to improve it. Then also the optimization tool is great for essentially limited resources, prioritize the things that are gonna make the biggest impact, and keep an eye on when these search results are modifying and changing over time. Their ongoing reports that are, are being monitored there will be helpful for kind of identifying when clicks and overall rankings are about to come. And they're gonna to continue to evolve the tool, currently in beta at the time of this writing, but I'm excited about this overall framework. Reasonably priced, good UX, UI for optimizing SEO rankings over time. So it's a tool we highly recommend. We definitely use it in technical B2B industries and your mileage may vary in B2C industries, but it's worth checking out for sure in the SEO content side of things. We'd love to hear what you think of ClearScope or using anything like it. Uh, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and let us know what you thought in the comments.